Hello there, fellow teenlings of the Teenling Army. I'm the gaming teenling, Orstorm. Welcome back to Doom 3 BFD Edition. Last video, we, uh, say, got into here the cargo lift thing here. And, uh, battled a few new demons. Battled a few demons. Yeah. Do I have to... Did I get the, uh... Oh, there it is. For a second there, I didn't know where the uh, thing was. Wow, I'm standing like right in front of you. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Somebody animate that. I, I don't care who it is. Heck, if it's the inverted saddle, by all means, go ahead and animate it. That, that guy in itself was pretty much firing at me. I was a few feet away from him. He aimed. Right directly at my side. He fired at me a full clip and missed. Hmm, that's odd. It didn't sit up there. I'm getting some lag here. Just uh, hang on just a minute. Uh, game options, uh, field of view, system, frame rate. I know I'm gonna see a little bit of lag. Don't worry too much about it. Ow! Alright, this is number 48. Hang on here. Uh... Oh, I don't see it here. Hang on, I'm gonna look up what uh, store locker number 48 is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Locker code. Zero. Four. Eight. It might not have it on the website I'm looking at. One, two, three.
Oh no, spiders! Jumping ones at that. Alright, I'm gonna pause it here for right now, cause uh, I need to figure out what the heck is going on with my uh, system here, cause it looks like I'm getting a little bit of lag. So I'm gonna cut it right here until I can get the lag figured out. Okay, I think I got the lag thing uh, figured out there. I apologize for a little bit of the cut there, but eh, these things happen. Anyway, let's uh, continue on here. Right there. Mm, need to find another way around. Okay, that was the thing that happened, and number 149 to be the one same thing, yes it is. Yeah, 
And of course, the dog barking as always. Okay, I was able to locate your position. Four times to see that again, the now function is shut down. Classic service disruption throughout the entire base. I don't know how long I'll be able to track it. Bravo team has just entered the end program. Pick up the pace. You aren't far behind. Hey you! Can you help me? I'm trapped in here! Release the door locks and get me out! Thank you! I don't have him and, he, and you see that thing pretty much char him. He got an achievement as well, but uh... Thanks for getting me out of there. Now there is a call for that... For that door, though you might have the brute force your way to do it. Anyway. I got trapped in the chamber when the power went out. I don't know what's going on here. I don't understand why none of the systems are responding. I'm going to try to get an uplink into the main system from here. This is a secure terminal. I might be able to get a connection. Alright. Yes, uh, you can brute force your way in there. Anyway. I've got got myself a new PDA. Security log number 3072 for Delta Security Chief Michael Abrams, November 15th, 2145. I've just come from the armament division where I was issued one of the new BFG 9000 series weapons. <laughs> While well, they weren't kidding about how much lighter it is over previous prototype models. Won't be so bad carrying this one around. <laughs> Anyhow, for a couple of weeks now, many of the security teams have not been following proper reporting procedures. Not sure if it's the format of the new SIR, so... I'll make sure each team is scheduled by training division to get spun up on the new reports. There have been some security issues in the Alpha Labs. I sent a team over to investigate, and now I can't reach them on any comm channel. Guess I'll have to go over there myself. Well, I'm headed over there now. I'll finish the security report in full when I get back. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm gonna leave this BFG locked in my office for now. Please have IT security change my door code to 901. Sure as hell don't need anyone messing around with it. Chief Abrams, end the log. Don't be so certain because you, you put it with that game yet. In a quest to provide armies with a well-balanced set of weapons, UAC looked to the past when designing and manufacturing the newest line of Mach 2 chain guns. The retro style and mechanical sturdiness of the chain gun is a must for all hardened combat veterans. Early adapters have nicknamed it Saw. With its armor-piercing 30 caliber bullets, the chain gun is capable of literally cutting opponents in two. Packed with all the punch you need in close combat fighting, the chain gun delivers unparalleled reliability and functionality. Always on the forefront of technology, the UAC is making safer worlds through superior firepower. Anyway, we will have the... Before it's fine, his uh And yes, if it is that I die uh, three times in this game for a boss fight, I will turn on the god mode. But only on boss fights. Also, that's adrenaline. I don't know what it does unless it's like for the uh, stamina. 
Yes, freak of spiders. Okay, I don't know what that was about. Marine, make schematic show all Just out of your area blocked. The only way through is by traversing the EFR, mechanical subsystem with two possible routes. Activating the system will get you a direct route, but it's dangerous. Extending the service bridges is safer, but the lighting systems are fried. Make a choice. Good luck. Now basically what he means is that you can either take a direct passage that includes uh, fighting enemies or you could take the safer passage but you're going to be uh, constantly reloading your flashlight. It is up to you which one you want. Uh, see, I've got myself a new... This is the audio log of plant manager Henry Nelson dated October 24, 2145. I don't know how I should report this, so I'll just talk about what I know and what I need. I've had quite a few employees reporting to me that they've heard strange sounds, like voices talking to them, calling them, even when they were alone. At first, I didn't believe them. The guys down here like to kid around, but they assured me they were serious. I ignored the stories at first, until one day, I heard something too. I was working on one of the lift-up service panels, and I distinctly heard the voice of someone saying, Over here. I quickly turned to see who was there, but the passage was completely empty. I looked around, but I didn't see another soul. I even checked the work logs, and no one else was working near that area. I don't want to sound crazy here, but my guys and myself are a little spooked, and some of the guys were even talking about ghosts. So, to make everyone, including myself, feel a little more comfortable, I'd like to request that a security team make a thorough check of the EFR area. Thank you. Henry Nelson. Alright, so 64, which we haven't found yet, is 651. I might throw up both areas, but I'm activating the system. Do a It, uh... Yeah. Just out of your area blocks. The only way through is by reversing the EFR. Mechanical subsystem with two possible routes. Ah, adapt! Fudge monkeys! I did not expect that! I snuck up from behind me! We have my first death.
really don't want me going anywhere. Not gonna use the BFT all that much. Oh my god, then, then Toby, please shut up. Now we have our next weapon. The plasma gun, energy based weapon developed in the Mars weapon facility. Unit of power by plasma canisters rather in the UFO facility. Tell me where you set up! Yeah, you're gonna hear that in the recording. I don't know what it is with him that uh Whenever we sit down to eat, Toby decides, hey you know what? Let's bug him. Honestly, it gets annoying. One of the things we've been doing is pretty well just shoving him in the kennel. That's where our next boss is, believe it or not. Time to kill us a queen.
What have I done? Your chain gun here is really helps. Also, yeah, see if people are fling those things at you. Right on to the next area. Now this right here, this is actually where our uh, last missions would take place. By the way, uh, you don't really have to worry too much about this. You're not be on a time limit here. Also, this is where you would get the uh, platform. Down. Their operational status is unknown. They were carrying a military transmission card. Good job, buddy. Keep it up. Ah, I took that, uh... They do have a lot of HP, so don't worry too much. But if you want that achievement... Good. Bye, buddy. Except for Mod City, escort one to its destination. Ah, not better now. Also, we'll get to meet a new enemy here. Although this one's a little gruesome, actually. Yeah, that was a little more gruesome. Analyst Teresa Chazar, dated November 3rd, 2145. 
I'm pleased to report that the preliminary tests on the ammo storage in the new Mach 3 plasma gun has far exceeded our expectations. We've realized a full 50% gain in the storage capacity of ammo packs as a result of utilizing techniques engineered in the Alpha Lab's molecular compactor. I believe with the ongoing compaction research, we will reach our goal of three times the plasma storage currently available in standard ammo packs. I would also like to mention that all of the employees here at the Enpro plant have been very helpful and quite eager to accommodate all of my requests. For security reasons, I've locked the plasma gun and the extra ammo in locker 063 with door code 972. End of lock. Yeah, this is where you would get the plasma gun. Service bridge now operational. They are a little finicky to kill. I'm exploding the bells I'll see amplifically. It's um so that if they are gonna explode, I'm not in the blast radius. Down we go! Shut up! I don't take orders from you anymore. wondering how many bosses there are on this game. Not actually a whole lot. This is probably one of the games, uh, Doom games that actually don't have a whole lot of, uh, Place pod two. Okay. 
Okay, looks like they're going somewhere. Do you see the card? No, sir. Okay, let's get to the communications facility. We can stop the transmission from there. Whatever you say, Counselor. I'm gonna count the fun there. Goody, teleporting enemies. My favorite. Ah, uh, that's a security door that's open up here. Seven, three, four.
Steve Hammer, service technician. Since Private Swenson wigged out, shot up that drink machine, then lit himself up with a plasma gun, we've all been a bit nervous. All of us in maintenance knew he was losing it. Finally, when that darn drink machine wouldn't accept his credits, he lost it. Started swearing up and down, and you had to laugh when that machine lit up. But before any of us could react, he fed himself enough plasma to power an office building. There wasn't enough head to clean up. Just vapor. It's a bad thing to happen to anyone. Anyway, I know with all the psych problems we've had lately, we need the additional security. But when the guards start going nuts, I don't know, all this extra weapons and ammunition. I mean, do we really need so much firepower laying around? Well, a couple of us decided to lock up all of the unsecured plasma rounds we could find. The code is 734. I think we'll all sleep a bit better tonight knowing it's locked up. Right, it's unlocked it. I don't trust those for a second. Hey. Over here. We were hit. I don't know how much farther I can go. Here. Take the transmission card. We can't stay here. It isn't safe. We better move. I'm keeping that transmission card to myself. And not sending it. Now this person, be quick. Yeah, your oxygen does kind of go down at a pretty fast weight. Well, you know what, Sergeant Kelly? Have a good suck a lemon. I'm not sending in that transmission. And for good reason, too. Keep jump skills.
I guess I have to go this way. Alright, let us go this way. There we go. a caco demon. Yeah, that looks nothing like the caco demon. Yeah, that's why right. come come feel the fury. It's actually kind of underutilized. This is the audio log of controller James Holiday, dated September 24th, 2145. The recent transport issues from Site 3 have caused the board to call a formal inquiry study weight limits and suggest better ways to provide protection for Site 3 artifacts. Our equipment... Damn it, these does anything work with this? Finish this later.
hit him on the cat when uh, whenever you get hit. That uh, your camera goes all over the place. It looks like we're stuck here for now. Oh, hello! I thought there was a tentacle for a second. Oh yes, this area. Got a PDA. This is the audio log of Officer Ron Ridge, dated October 16, 2145. Recent transport tunnel accidents are causing major headaches for both supply and maintenance. Each accident causes an estimated one to three hour delay in what are mostly time sensitive shipments. It's becoming evident that certain junctions need safety adjustments as well as recommitment to driving safety by all personnel. The Improta Com Center route has shown the biggest increase in accidents over the past six months. Safety signs and approved lighting are needed throughout the main junctions over the stretch of tunnels and paths. Absolutely. No recreational vehicle passing should be allowed during peak hours. All personnel should use monorail travel whenever possible to keep cargo shipments flowing smoothly. Yeah, I think I know what I need to do here.
And I'm going to call the episode there. Again, it's actually looking pretty good so far. And we did get us up the new, couple new weapons. And now I'm probably in one of the more frustrating points of the game, in my own opinion. Anyway, I'm going to call the episode here. And uh, in the next video, we'll pick up where we left off here. So, comment down in the comment section if you actually want to give me some tips on how to play this. Or if uh, you liked it, let me know. Now, I'll subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this. Until next time, stay 20% cooler, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.